Today we're going to take a look at how to configure a Reshift instance to be used within SnapLogic. To do that, we need to create a Reshift account. There are two main ways to create an account in SnapLogic. You can create an account by simply dragging and dropping a uh, Reshift snap onto the canvas, and we can create the account dynamically within the designer view. The context of the account will be set to where the pipeline is stored. If you want to create a credential in any other project folder, use the manager to achieve the same function. In this example, we'll simply be using the designer to create our credential. First, I'm going to select the Reshift snap. I can pick any one of these snaps. I'm just going to use the Snowflake select. Once the snap is drag and dropped onto the canvas, it's going to give you a set of pre-configured uh, credentials uh, that you've configured in the past. We're going to click on the create new account to create a new one together. And we're going to say OK to take you and so we can actually go into the account creation screen. We'll populate every one of these fields and we'll come back and explain what each one of these fields means. OK, to begin, you will want to give the account a name. You can specify any value here. The JDBC, the JDBC driver class itself is interesting because um, Reshift is a Postgres based database. You can simply use a Postgres driver, uh, JDBC driver, if you like. However, if you want to use a Reshift specific driver, you can modify this driver class according to the AWS documentation. Additionally, you can upload your own instance of your uh, JDBC jar file here in this entry. You can add uh, an entry by clicking on the plus sign on the right hand side. To select the specific jar file, you can cl click the database icon at the end of that field. Select the jar file of your choice that's within your specific project folder, or you can upload a specific driver of your choice from your local drive via this icon here. The JDBC URL is essentially the URL you will be using to connect to that instance of Reshift. You notice that the URL qualifier here rep, uh, is referencing PostgreSQL. The Reshift JDBC driver um, will have the similar syntax, except you'll be referencing the value of Reshift here at the very beginning of this uh, JDBC URL. From there, the rest of the configuration is very much uh, self-explanatory. You had the endpoint URL you will specify. The port number is typically 54 through 39, but you can configure it as um, any way you like according to your security policies. So, you know, select a database, uh, default database, username and password. It's very straightforward. The S3 bucket here, uh, where you specify, is primarily used for staging your data. So it's always a good idea to specify one. You can provide the bucket as well as the folder. Your S3 access key and access key and secret key are all available from your AWS uh, credential manager. The AIM property is also useful if you want to specifically uh, allocate that resource uh, to this particular role, uh, role and even the region. From there, the advanced properties very rep essentially represents the advanced JDBC properties where you can select um, auto commit, batch sizes, fetch sizes, as well as lifetime and timeouts. If you have any questions around any one of these fields, you can actually put uh, your mouse over the uh, name of the field and we'll have a pop-up describing essentially what each one of these fields means. Finally, the URL property allows any key value pair to enhance your JDBC uh, connection against your uh, rush of endpoint. Once you have everything configured, hit the validate button or prompt the system to validate that credential. If it is successful, you'll get this message up on top in a pop-up stating that account validation is successful. If you run into any issues, feel free to contact SnapLogic support, reference the documentation, as well as visit our community for any additional assistance. Thank you.